Hey, welcome to my channel, or welcome back, loyal viewers. I'm Carrie, the nosy housefrau, and today I'll be sticking my nose in on the topic of Keemstar and how he tried to school Metamorphosis rocks regarding his gigantical fame. So I have about three different videos going at the same time, and that's unusual for me, so there's definitely no drama drought going on right now. And last night, while working on one video, I actually had to abandon that and make this video, because a friend of mine... Metamorphosis Rocks, if you know this channel, you know she's a friend of this channel. She had made a video called Dear Keemstar. In it, she did a dramatic Twitter read, <laughs> much to my surprise, <laughs> of Keemstar's Twitter. And she did it complete with the War of 1812 Overture. <laughs> but she read his tweets and how he was lamenting having made 4000 in January and then he wasn't making money. And then Roxana said, you know, smaller channels have the same problem and you should stick up for us like we do you. She made several very good points. YouTube's new rule of taking away monetization from channels with less than a thousand subs is a good idea. There are so many clone channels that re-upload other people's content with ads and they don't care if they get caught or get banned. They just make another channel. You continued with... 4,000 hours of watch time in the last 20, 12 months is also required. That turns out to be 80,000 views and 5 minute videos over the span of a year. That's not difficult if you're a real YouTuber deserving to be paid for your work. End quote. Leaving aside your amazing grammar, let's start with the fact that you decided to assume that the people complaining were clone channels. I know you don't care, but allow me to explain something about tiny creators. I have many friends who have YouTube channels and have been busting their butts to get to 1,000. People like Christiana James, Alien Bling, Beauty Boomer, Glowing Beauty Addiction, and that is just in the beauty category. Those are people who love this platform and could use a little help with makeup and other goodies to improve their channel. They are not looking to be the next millionaire. They put their heart and soul on their content. There are people who are caregivers for family members, partially retired, or like me, whose medical issues are not allowing them to seek full-time employment. To you, making $30 a month might not seem like much, but every time I know that I accumulated enough for YouTube to send me a check and I can actually manage to help the household paying one bill, I feel like I actually did something. Instead of forgetting what it was like when you got your first paycheck, Maybe you should have a little consideration for the millions of people that just want money to develop their content or their skills. Roxana went on to make several excellent points, not the least of which was this one that I'll paraphrase for you. Most of the people making YouTube money are not people like Keemstar with over 5 million subscribers. It is smaller channels that make up the bulk of YouTube. And actually, I think that's good business. You don't want to put all your eggs in one basket case, after all. Now, you probably noticed from Keemstar's comments that he doesn't feel that small channels are very significant at all. And yet, he found Roxana's input significant enough to leave a comment. We are not the same. I make videos, millions see them. You make videos, a few hundred see them. We are not the same. If you want to legitimately cry about not getting paid, then actually do something worth getting paid, like getting millions of views. I think because she made that crack about his grammar, he was trying to be on his best behavior and probably doesn't realize it's okay to end a sentence with a preposition and you don't need to put quotes about something if you're not quoting somebody or saying so-called. But moving right along, Roxana responded, Has it occurred to you that not everybody wants millions of views? I would rather have a little space of the world where I actually engage with my audience. You were right. We are not the same. I don't quantify success by the standards that you do. That does not make me any less of a creator than you. Thank you for stopping by and proving my point. Does somebody have a mic? Because I need to drop it for that moment. That was fantastic. And I'll let you read the rest on your own because I need to move on. Here's the thing that might surprise you. I don't really know who Keemstar is. I mean, I know who he is, but it's funny because this was just the point I was at in the video I had to abandon to do this video. I was talking about how certain people are on the periphery of our YouTube world. It's a name I've heard, I've seen, but I've never watched him. I just knew he was problematic and it had a lot of uh, hate from people. 
I'm actually a subscriber of iDubs and I missed the fact that he did a content cop on him. So I took a break from this one and I did my due diligence. I went down the rabbit hole of Keemstar. It's funny. I had to actually redo the beginning of this video because when I started it out, my intention was to point out that Keemstar was a sore winner. That when you say things that you are worth so much more to YouTube because of your channel and how you entertain millions and that those smaller channels aren't worth it, that's called being a sore winner. That is distasteful. That's the kind of thing where even if you're right, you're going to be wrong when you say something like that. And I wanted to give that message. But that's kind of like saying Jeffrey Dahmer didn't leave a good tip. You're not even touching the tip of the iceberg there. Now, I'm not calling this guy a cannibal, but you see my point. I had no idea what a scumbag he was until I saw the content cop video, until I saw other people commenting on him. I knew he had a back and forth with Trisha Paytas where he made comments about her, and I didn't know how much is trolling, how much isn't. A lot of people say he's just a big troll. But according to content cop, he can't take any criticism at all. Now, one thing I do enjoy about being a smaller channel is that larger channels do not publicly go after you because they are afraid of the Streisand effect. If you don't know what that is, I will link it below. It's basically when someone tries to make you look bad, but it backfires because the complaint actually gets you more fame. I find that some larger channels who got their fame by trolling, and I use the term fame loosely, who got anywhere they could by hook or crook, those are the people who are really afraid to give anybody attention because they will accuse them of clout chasing or just having to pay the bills or what have you. I don't care. I, I rather actually enjoy them being in that position. But if this person is so touchy that he can't handle anybody criticizing him, that's not going to stop me from criticizing him. A lot of you probably already know that this guy's behavior has been a legion. Not just the N-word, but saying to Total Biscuit that he looked forward to reporting his passing. I'm going to link Content Cop's video below as well. We mourn Total Biscuit in this house. My son had liked him very much since he was young. I did too. He had raised so much money for charity, and when his fans wanted to give him money for his bowel cancer treatment, he refused and instead directed everyone to give that money to research for bowel cancer. We thought he was wonderful. And actually, he performed a song that would be perfect for Keemstar. I'm going to link that below. It's called It's Okay to Not Like Things. So even though I trust iDubbz's receipts, I wanted to hear that full comment in context. I found a channel named Randomness Master, which I will link below. I'll put the actual video there for you to watch. Way too many swear words for me to put in this video or even bleep out. And in fact, he goes off. The reason why is because Total Biscuit had tweeted that he was not news. He said, you're not news, and then he blocked him. Keemster said, I've been a fan of yours for years, and now I just want to be like, I can't wait to report your death. That is what he said. Can you imagine knowing somebody is dying and making a comment like that? Saying that to your worst enemy. Talk about being ego-driven. To my knowledge, he's never apologized for this. If anybody can point that out to me, I mean, I'm always open to an apology, but certainly that's the kind of thing one should feel remorse about. And I think I can see even more what iDubbbz was saying in his video, saying this, you just don't think before you speak. He has no filter. He doesn't seem to take the time to cool down before he says something. It could be because he wants that sensationalism, but based on everything I've seen and just these several hours of research, more than I care to do again on this subject. From what I have seen, getting a profile of this, I feel like he does not handle criticism well. No, I can see that empirically he does not. So he, if he watches this, which apparently he will because he doesn't really care much about his YouTube class consciousness when it comes to people talking about him. Fair enough, if it's about him, he can watch it. But I think that he would have something nasty to say, if anything. This is not a person who can look at themselves and say, you've made some good points, or I shouldn't have said that. That would be big of him. That would be the right thing to do. And certainly, please link below or let me know if he's ever expressed remorse for that, because I find that to be unconscionable. I started out this video prepared to call out Keemstar on bad manners. That is the least of it. 
Had I not done the viewing that I had done this evening on the subject, poor manners would have been the grossest understatement you would have ever heard from this channel. And I'm aware that there are other things that he was accused of doing. I just couldn't watch anymore, particularly when I saw some of the things that people were saying were being exploited. I just couldn't watch. I think I have a clear enough picture. I've dipped my toe in that world enough. Some channels that get larger get very self-important. And then you have people like Dustin Daly, who is the same guy he was when he had five subs. He's the same person. I saw him on a video today talking to a smaller channel. Imagine that, giving a smaller channel the time of day. And he said to him, that's okay that you're a small channel. I was too. We all had to you know, start somewhere. That's class. That's exactly how you should see it because that is the truth of the matter. No single YouTuber, no matter how many subscribers they have, none of them are truly indispensable in the grand scheme of things. Not in my opinion. They're such a large collective. But together, we should all care about the rights of other YouTubers. If the rights of a YouTuber with 100 subscribers is being violated, that affects me too. None of us are rock stars. None of us are islands unto ourselves. And I promise you viewers, I will have that mentality regardless of my sub count. I've already exceeded my expectations and I, I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. Thank you. But I don't think for one moment that I have fans. I have viewers. I have friends. I'm never going to get full of myself, ever. I have too many inner abusers for that, so that's a good thing. Thank you so much if you've listened this far. I so appreciate you. If you are new here, please consider subscribing, hitting the notification bell, and telling your friends about us. Although your view is appreciated, you can also support this channel by going to Patreon, where you will get exclusive after-show videos, where I will talk about updates, comments, things I may have left out, or corrections to make. Also, I have to upload there a lot more, so you never know when you'll catch me in a menopausal meltdown. I can't be the only person feeling sorry for myself, so join me, and I will talk to you later. Thank you so much. Until next time, Housefrau out.